Hey, how's it going? My name's Josh, I'm a personal trainer and I specialize in helping guys to reduce the size of their butts and to develop alpha male physiques that they're proud of. All right, in this video, I wanna discuss what you should do if you're a man and you have a bigger butt than your girlfriend or your wife. Now, for some men, this is just the reality of the situation. I generally have always had a bigger butt than any of my girlfriends or just as big. I see this as a positive because essentially you draw more attention to yourself. Now there's been many times where I've gone, I've gone somewhere that I'm unsure of with my girlfriend and I'm worried about the reception. So let me give you a, uh, an actual example. So we went to Morocco a couple of years ago and my girlfriend's blonde, she's white. And I had some colleagues, colleagues who told me they went to Morocco, they got harassed by the men there. It was really bad. So I was thinking, oh, I don't want to go to Morocco now. Well, obviously I wanted to go, but I don't have to deal with no stress. I don't want to get into no trouble, have no fights over nothing, over not any silliness. So, but luckily I got all the attention because obviously with my, my size and my training, most people, when we was walking, I don't think anyone noticed that once, really, or no one was brave enough to say anything or or, or shout at her or anything like that. Uh, literally, all the attention was on me, which was, you know, it still wasn't great, but much better than people whistling at her or looking at her. I mean, it was a case, I think, even women would be, a, I was advised that she should cover her up and shouldn't show any cleavage or anything like that, just in case. But um, But even just general, going out, I'm happy to, if I'm wearing a tight top, tight jeans, I'll happily deflect the attention on me any day because I can handle it as a man. Whereas let's say you're a, you're a skinny guy, you know, you haven't been training and your girl's got the biggest butt and biggest breast and she looks like, like a porn star or a, or a stripper or a dancer. It's gonna be a, a hard time. If you go to a club, it's gonna be a hard time for you, especially if you don't look like you can defend her as well. Um, so yeah, I'd say, hold that attention, use that as a positive to deflect it off your girlfriend or your wife. So you don't have to defend her honor and your honor um, and show it off. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I mean, number one, you shouldn't really be caring if you're out with your girlfriend, what other people are thinking, but it might be good, as I said in the first point, first point to deflect any attention and show it off. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. If your butt is bigger than hers, then nothing wrong with it, it's fine. Um, it just is what it is. Um, what's really going to be important, I'm actually going to underline this, is you want to develop your upper body. Really important. So you can walk with pride with your head held high and be proud of your, your butt and the way your body looks. Develop that, train that, get in the gym minimum four times a week if you're being serious and, and be consistent. Don't have three weeks on and then take another three weeks off or two weeks off or, or you train for, for two weeks and oh, now you're going on a holiday and you don't, you just stop training. Wherever you travel, find the gym. You just have to be committed to it, commit to eating properly, commit to building your upper body so you can be proud of your physique and these thoughts aren't even going through your head. Like literally, I don't even think about this, um, about having a, a bigger butt. It just doesn't cross my mind at all. But it might do. If I didn't focus on training my upper body, I might be extremely self-conscious and feel like, ah, oh, everyone's looking at me. Or I mean, I felt like that before I actually trained my upper body. I felt extremely insecure and self-conscious and completely self-aware of how people might be looking at me and how I looked in clothes. So I hated it. So, you know, I'm really happy I took the years. I mean, I've been training in the gym for 11 years now and I'm really happy I took the time to really craft my physique to how I wanted it. And you know, if you're really concerned about the mix, the, the mismatch between your butt and your girlfriend's, encourage her to train. Encourage her to develop a bit of a booty. I mean, my girlfriend, luckily, she's got a nice, you know, nice, nice round booty, so I'm happy. So ours is almost equal. But let's say your girl has no butt at all, like zero, completely pancake flat. Encourage her to train, like go to the gym together. She can focus on her glutes and you can focus on building your upper body. And and balance things out a bit, balance the equation. And obviously if you're really upset and really unhappy that you've got a bigger butt than your girlfriend, then obviously you can get rid of it. It's through dieting and training and cardio, which I've discussed in many other videos, which you can have a look if you go through the rest of my videos. So yeah, just, my, just a quick video today, just my thoughts on this. Let me know your thoughts in the, in the, in the comments. If you have a bigger butt than your girlfriend or, 
or how you feel about that. I've written a book on how I managed to transform my body from a feminine one where I was really skinny in my upper body and had really had a really big butt and thighs and how I transformed that to an alpha male physique, which I'm proud of and which completely changed my life. It's completely free, link is in the description, so make, make sure you get that copy right now. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.